Hey guys, true or false, your business is a direct reflection of how you're showing up as a CEO. What do you think? Is that true or false? I think it's true, and I think that this shows up the most in your time management skills. Because what you do determines your success, right? Like when it really comes down to it, the things that you put into action, the things that you do are what makes, is the difference between success and failure, between money and no money, clients and no clients, right? So that's why today I wanna to talk about time management and I would love for you to participate. So we're here live, come bring your questions and if you watch this afterwards, not live, put your best time management hack in the comments. How do you make it through the day? How do you manage your time so that you get everything done? And I think that this is a problem that persists with every entrepreneur, no matter what level you get to, you know, no matter how successful your business gets, time management evolves with you and it's always an issue that you've got to consider. And it's the number one thing that's gonna determine whether or not you're being successful. In fact, you know, I was talking with a, a, a colleague of mine, very successful man, runs a very successful business, multi-million dollars, and we were just the other day talking about <laughs> there's not enough time in the day to get done everything you wanna get done. So, um, you know, no matter how successful you get, I think your time management problems just evolve with you. So, I've got three things I wanna talk about today in relation to time management. I think the very first step to managing your time well is actually categorizing the activities that you're doing. Taking a look at everything that you do and really identifying it for what it is. And there's four categories. I mean, and we're talking about the realm of getting clients, right? Having a successful business. Um, so when I talk about time management and in particular this conversation, I think we're talking about the hours that you're working, right? Whether that's nine to five or it's a part-time thing or just a couple hours. When you're at work, when you're doing work for your business, how do you manage that time? And the first thing I would say is that you got to categorize it. And the four categories I use are client generating activities, long-term value, paid service delivery, and then finally time wasters. And those three categories, if you can put the things you're doing into those three categories, then you can start making decisions on how you want to spend your time. And so if you want to land clients, you want to spend most of your time in that client generating activity category. And I think that this gets, you know, it's important to point out the difference between a client generating activity and long-term value. You know, like when we talk about marketing, um, long-term value would be something like writing the blog post, right? You can write a million blog posts, but if you never publish it, which is the client generating activity portion, pushing the publish button, then writing those blog posts will never do anything for you. But if you can really amplify that client generating activity and push publish, more often on high quality content, then you're gonna be getting more opportunities to get clients, right? So you really wanna categorize your activities so that you can maximize whatever it is you're trying to do, right? You want more clients, client generating activities. You have enough clients, you wanna make sure you have good service delivery, paid mm -hmm. service delivery is where you, where you wanna live at. You're ready to take your business to the next level, ready to scale it, long-term value activities are where you wanna be. So I think the correct categorization and using those four ideas, long-term value, client generating activity, uh, low dollar or time waster, and uh, I missed one, long-term value. Those four are gonna really help you know exactly where you wanna spend your time. Once you've categorized it well, um, you know there are two tricks or tips that I find work the best for entrepreneurs in helping them really manage their time so that they get um, clients so that they really get that focus that you need in order to get clients. And so the first one is batching, right? Once you've identified the activities that you want to do, grouping them together and doing them all at once is just going to save you time, right? You get in this mindset where you're doing, you know, we'll keep going with blog posts just because I said it, but um, you get in this mindset where you're like writing blog posts. Well, if you can write two or three at a time, you're already in that mindset. You stack them together. You take an hour instead of 10 minutes or 15 minutes to do it. And then you've got three or four blog posts versus just one, and you can kind of crunch the time it takes to do things if you batch like activities together. 
Now, I know that that's probably something you've heard before, but my question for you would be, are you doing it, right? Are you actually batching your stuff? And, you know, hand in hand with batching goes the power hour. And that's basically where you say, hey, I've got this one goal. I want to finish it. I'm going to take an hour to do it. You turn off all your electronics, your phone, your computer, everything, and you tackle that one project. And uh, power hours work great hand in hand with batching. And then the second tool or trick or tip that I would say is you got to make sure that you live in your calendar, right? Like you got to make sure you structure your calendar so that you're doing the things that you need to do in order to get the results that you want. You know, if you don't put in the work beforehand, you don't get the results that you want. Every result, whether it's getting clients, having money, having freedom, every result is directly correlated to an action. So you've got to do those actions first so that you get your desired results. And your calendar is a way that you can really measure and really control where you're spending your time to do those things that you want to do. So I, what I do on my calendar is I actually block off time for certain activities. I don't like feeling restricted, so I don't have like a, uh, well, in some things, like with exercise and stuff like that, I put like, hey, this this time to this time, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to do this thing. That's because I have to force myself to exercise. I've got an on-again, off-again relationship with exercise. Right now, we're, we're progressing, but normally we're just friends. Um, but... With all my work-related stuff, I batch. You know, this is my CEO time. This is my marketing time. This is my service delivery time. And I'll put really big blocks of time to do that, but I won't say exactly what I'm going to do. That way, I feel free to do whatever it is I need to do, um, but I also get done the things that I need to get done. Okay, so that's my rant on time management. I want to hear your thoughts. So uh, in the comments, tell us your best time management hack. How are you making uh, your time work for you? What is the best advice you've ever gotten? Or what is the advice you would tell yourself, you know, when you first started your business? Okay, we'll talk soon, guys. Bye.